Blue boxes. Blue boxes. In these boxes, you have to take the risk and rewards cards. Risk and rewards cards. We have direct rewards, where in this case we have plus 10 in your next activity test. The next card is a, that you can have is a direct penalty, which would be the same as this one, only negative. You can have wild cards, and we can have dynamic game and cards with situations that are to be resolved. Okay, there are different types of cards. So this is a card where you have a situation that needs to be resolved randomly using the dice. So this would be, if my result of the dice was odd, this would be the result. And if my dice was an even, then I would have the result at the bottom in the evens. You can see this card also has a QR code and the QR codes are there to provide information if you're curious about the information provided on the card and you want to go to the website you've got the QR code just there. You also have a joker card which immediately converts itself into a skills card. And then you have the worst card of all, which is a card which makes you trigger an avalanche and see if you survive the uh, avalanche that you've just been caught up in. Okay, the points earned before playing an activity, positive or negative, should be noted down on a piece of paper in readiness for entering, entering them into the application. After playing the activity, your points are then reset to zero. So when you have the necessary equipment, for example, a helicopter, here a snowboard, when you have the necessary equipment on your scorecard and sufficient cards of the correct types of cards, then you can try to make your way to the mountains to be able to do an activity. Depending on how the dice rolls, if you eventually make your way to the mountain, you can take the activity test. Okay, to play an activity, you can use the application. The dangers and rewards cards must be read out loud as you take them or as you discard them. But you can keep them in your possession without playing them until just before playing an activity if you wish. If you have not yet played them before the activity, then they have to be played at the time of taking the activity test. The activity test on okay. mountains. So, dynamics. These come in the danger and rewards cards and allow blind swapping cards with another player, keeping cards from another player, or keeping equipment for another, from another player, or having to simulate an avalanche situation with your game at that point, which entails the consequent danger of being disqualified, having to go to an avalanche box and losing two turns. This card, for example, is a blind swap card, and it would allow me to blind swap cards from, from another player if I so wished.